All right, guys, today we're going to look at one of the more popular blitzes in the National Football League, the cross dog blitz. A lot of times teams will run it out of a 4-3 under front. So you see the strength of the formation is here. So the defense is in an under front. The nose tackle is going to go to the backside A gap, hoping to occupy the center. Then you're going to have the play side backer, in this case the middle linebacker, the mic backer. He is going to hit that A gap as hard as he can. The key and the guy that you're trying to get free is the will linebacker that's usually the most athletic linebacker for most teams. He is going to come right off the hip of that middle backer crashing. They work on this every day to try to time that up perfectly. He's going to try to loop around right as that middle linebacker comes. He crosses behind him, hence cross dog, and tries to get free in the backfield. Hopefully, from my perspective as an offensive lineman, we pass it off and they didn't get in. But the cross dog is one the teams use quite a lot now in the NFL. Great job, Ross, breaking down cross dog on the whiteboard. Let's take a look at it here on the video screen. Uh, Denver Broncos versus the uh, New York Giants. What you're going to get here is a cross in here and in here. Now, this running back does his job. He takes the first guy, and then it's up to the center and most likely these two guys here to figure out where this extra guy is going. And by the time this center realizes that this linebacker is coming back here, his head is turned, he can't get to him, and there you see an easy lane to Eli Manning right there for the linebacker, big sack for the Denver Broncos. Again, the key on that play is the center and the opposite guard really not anticipating where this crossfire is coming from. Let's take a look at it as the Arizona Cardinals ran the exact same cross dog blitz against the Philadelphia Eagles. You're going to see you got David Moke in there at center. You got Todd Harriman's here at the right guard position. And let's throw Lane in there just for good measure because this guy gets into the picture as well. But you're going to get a fire here fire there, and the Eagles, they don't even appear to be a phase by this. Nice job from David Malk, seeing it at the last second. It just carries him right over. Todd Harriman, he's anticipating the guy coming back. And again, you see Lane Johnson here crashing his guy down there. Nick pulls the ball out, wide open Zach Ertz. Great job from the Eagles' offensive line. I think you defend that play pre-snap. They anticipated it, and it didn't rattle them once the guys fired.